Niels Bohr himself used to meet here with his friends like Heisenberg and other great physicists and they formed the basics of quantum physics, they discussed the basics of quantum physics here and their legacy is still living throughout these days. What Niels Bohr created in Copenhagen and which is part of the legacy of the Niels Bohr Institute is a community of international scientists who came together to create ideas. The thing that this place knows how to do is bring people together from all over the world and give them a comfortable place where they can collaborate and work and out of that ideas emerge. I've been always fascinated and curious to see how the Earth is working beneath our feet. Therefore, I have chosen to study geophysics. There is a variety of subjects that I have the opportunity to choose from. We have the ice and climate, we have meteorology, solid state and oceanography. And since it is my first year of studies as a master's student, I have the time to meet all these groups one by one and see what I would like to do. Our relation with Greenland is very unique and we have a long uh, tradition for international research in Greenland. We have a strong international standing in Arctic results and uh, our results are really important in understanding the climate in the past and also in the present. The department has a very strong uh, group, an ice and climate group, and they take by first hand the ice core samples from, from Greenland and they bring it here. And you can actually take the samples and make measurements on them as we speak. For our students, it's really a unique opportunity to work with climate data, to participate in Greenland fieldwork, but also to work in an international team and form networks for the future. It just goes in there. Oh, it's good. Yeah, excellent. I'm doing my master thesis here at Niels Bohr Institute, and I'm fabricating devices which are going to be a building block for a quantum computer. The quantum physics is the physics which is not observable with the bare eye. It's difficult to wrap your mind around it, but in classical physics there is yes or no, and in quantum physics there might be a superposition of both of these. And exploring these things, learning these things, I think it's the future. Our motivation is to understand how nature works inside of materials, to understand ourselves and our universe better. But in every case that you understand something better, applications fall out. And for us, those applications are going to be in the domain of information processing and computation. I'm studying biophysics on the master level and my project uh, is focused on single molecule research of transporter molecules, which transport ions or anode molecules inside the cell or outside the cell or even through the um, organelle membrane. Our group is international. We have uh, people from all around the world, which make the research very exciting. It's kind of impossible to, in physics, to work on something you are not really truly interested in. I'm studying exoplanets, so exoplanets are just any planet that's outside of our solar system, and because these are dark, it makes it really, really hard for them to be found. In my project, I'm measuring the change in amplification of stars based off of gravitational microlensing of planets orbiting other stars. From this change in amplification, we can then get the mass of the planet. That could give us information about whether or not the planet's in the habitable zone, if it has an atmosphere, which could mean whether or not it has extraterrestrial life. 
So for a really long time in astrophysics, we haven't been able to detect exoplanets because our telescopes and our detectors weren't powerful enough to find them. And the reason why I'm here at MBI is because they have had a really, really long relationship making the technology available so we can reliably detect exoplanets. After my bachelor, I decided to uh, go abroad. And such a decision is never easy, of course. As an international student, you don't feel alone because half of a department is international. When you come to Copenhagen University, everything is in English. Your lectures are in English, your presentations are in English, your group work is in English. It doesn't matter if you're from Japan, Spain, Denmark, America, England, we're all in physics. There's this common threat, there's common language of math and science that runs through the entire group. As simple as that. Here in NBI, you have a lot of freedom to choose what you want to study and to plan your study, to choose courses which you consider to be uh, relevant for what uh, you want to do. The way that we are working here, uh, most of the classes have group presentations and group, group projects. You build these very strong relationships, not only with, with the international students, but also with the Danes. The relationships between the professors and the students are very open and friendly, I would say. It is easy to go in an office and knock on the door and everybody will be so welcome to help you out with any questions that you have. But it's not recording live, you can't compare it. What we have in the lab is opportunities for young people to participate in research, to be authors on papers, to, uh, to really create new knowledge and teach the old professors, you know, how, how to play the game. I would describe it as a very alive city. It has different aspects of culture that anybody from any kind of cultural background can fit in. You have music, theater, cinema, museums, our institute is placed in the middle of the city, so it's very comfortable for the social life. I think the most fascinating thing about Copenhagen is the fact that you can go anywhere by bike. Of course, I spend a lot of my time working on physics and working on my projects, but when I need a break, I like to discover Copenhagen. I'm exploring new things, I'm learning new things, and it's really fascinating. I like to take pictures that nobody has taken yet. I like to go to the museum. It's a way for me to immerse myself in the culture of Copenhagen and the culture of these pieces of art from around the world. In uh, NBI, you have a chance to join the successful research group very soon, actually, on the master level already. If you come from Niels Bohr Institute, everybody knows that it's a good place and that you're a good scientist. This is a research institution, and what that means is that the way you learn is by discovering. So what we do is catalyze invention in the minds of young people. That's our profession.